Chris Perillo wants to know, would I, or have I, been married virtually? The answers to those questions are no and no. Never been married to anybody virtually. I was married at one time. It didn't work out, and I ended up getting divorced. I was married from 1978 until 1981. And I have one child. Uh, I made the decision a long time ago to not get married again. Um, I've enjoyed my freedom of being single for all these years. Um, and I've had to change a few things in my life during that time. Uh, when I was very young, right after I got divorced in 1981, I tended to spend a little too much money on myself. Of course, when you spend money on yourself, that creates debt. So I spent the 1980s spending money, and I spent the 1990s paying off debt. Now, I think I have it right. I have absolutely no debt at all. I'm very happy, and I still do a lot of things that I did before. Uh, health problems are a little bit worse now, but I'm still here. I'm still going out and doing stuff that I normally do every week uh, and nothing stops me. I mean, yeah, I've had a few little hiccups here and there, but uh, nothing major. Uh, but uh, no, I would not get married again virtually uh, or even in real life. Um, there's a verse in the Bible. Now, you can choose not to believe this if you don't want to. But I'm just speaking for myself right here. There's a verse in the Bible, it's 1 Corinthians 7.27, that it says, and I'm just going to paraphrase this a bit, that if you're loosed from a wife, do not seek a wife. I never did. I just kind of enjoyed having friends and acquaintances all over the place. Uh, and then YouTube came along. Now I really have friends and acquaintances all over the place. I can talk to people in Canada anytime I want. I can talk to people in England anytime I want. I can talk to people in Australia anytime I want. And I can talk to people locally anytime I want. And we go out for coffee. We go out for dinner every once in a while. But I have this nice little studio apartment you see around me right here. You're looking at most of it right now. <laughs> it's not that big. That's got its advantages too. What is very small is very inexpensive to heat during the winter. Very inexpensive to air condition during the summer. And extremely easy to clean. I mean, I can almost take my vacuum cleaner and do my entire living room from where I'm sitting. Now, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but, you know, there, there isn't a whole lot left of this room that you don't see. And those that have watched my videos for a while, when I've changed around furniture, they pretty much have an idea of what the inside of this apartment looks like. The kitchen's right back there. The bathroom is right, okay, get my hands straightened out here, right behind that wall right there. That's a little closet you see in the background. There's another closet right there. That's all there is to it. Got free coffee over at the apartment complex office every day. I love that. Oh, that's good. And good for you. But uh, I'm just enjoying having a lot of friends right now. And uh, don't have any aspirations of getting married either virtually or in real life. But that's just me. Yeah.
yeah, you really got to consider the other person, too. I've had a lot of people, females and males, tell me that I'm a blessing. I've told them they're a blessing in a lot of different ways. But if you really think about it, if you picture a young lady marrying somebody that's got my bad health and my nice little 400-pound frame here, for them it could be a nightmare. <laughs> because who knows how good or bad my health is going to be over the next couple of years. Uh, they're not committed to helping me out if they're not married to me. They can give their best wishes, and I'm fine with that. Because I can still communicate with them over the Internet. And that's pretty cool. Thank you for setting up the forum for this question. And until the next time, thank you for allowing me to bore you. And have a wonderful weekend. Bye.